In this video, we're going to talk to you about the top five problems with this first generation Nissan Titan. Number one, is the coolant mixing with the transmission fluid? That would be an automatic transmission. What happens is the radiator internally, where the transmission fluid runs through for the cooler, it cracks basically, and the tubing opens up, and all your coolant goes right into the transmission. So you will find lack of power, shifting badly, overheating. If you have to keep adding coolant, don't look at the head gaskets first. Check your transmission dipstick. You can do that by taking this six millimeter bolt out. It's a 10 millimeter socket on the dipstick tube. And you can pull this out and just give a visual of the fluid. Now this is a, in good shape. It only has transmission fluid in it. It's got a little bit of brownish pink hue to it. If that had coolant in it, it would all separate. So when you put water and petroleum together, it doesn't like each other. So you'll have little water bubbles in there. It'll go all over the place. That's a key. The other thing I've done in the past is start it up, and when you put it in gear, you'll watch this fluid shoot down because the transmission just takes the fluid right back into the training. So you can start it up, take the cap off, top it off with coolant, and put it, run it, have someone put it in gear for you, and you can watch this, and the transmission torque converter will suck the coolant right down into that transmission. So that's another key to that one. Another thing you're gonna notice if your transmission cooler is cracked inside the radiator is over here at this overflow tank. So this is the pressurized overflow tank for these. This is an accessory for the radiator cap, so you always wanna open this when the vehicle's cooled down. It's under pressure, and you just open this up, and I guarantee you here and all up in here, you're gonna find like mud. It'll be all bleh, just like, you'll be like, what is this, pudding? <laughs> It'll look really bad in there. That means that the transmission fluid is mixing with the coolant, so that's a pretty severe problem. So if this is caught in time, you might be able to get away with a transmission flush and a new radiator. But if you don't catch it in time, you're gonna need a whole new transmission rebuilt or replacement with the radiator. Number two, if your airbag light or engine light come on and you have a little code reader and you pull it and it says P1564 or U1000, there's a quick test. Basically, what you need to do is clear it, start the truck up again, and turn the steering wheel from stop to stop. That's complete 360 both ways, or 180, whichever way you want to look at it. And if the engine light comes on and the airbag light comes right back on, you have a hard code, and more than likely, it's going to be in the clock spring. So basically, what that means is from turning the steering wheel constantly, uh, the, they have a they had a problem with the wiring to the clock spring where it frays and breaks off. So it's gonna, it's a hard code, what we call a hard code. It will set right away once the steering wheel is turned. So if that happens to you, at least you did your homework real quick and you know when they say, well, you need a new clock spring, you do. Number three is damage to the converters due to low fuel pressure. So you will get no check engine light. What will happen is you'll start noticing a lack of power on the highway or even in city on acceleration and you're looking for power and you'll be like, hey, it doesn't seem like it is, it used to be. First thing, please get your fuel pressure checked. If it is below 51 PSI, then it's causing a lean condition. And what happens with lean condition is it starves for fuel. And these converters will actually get damaged from that. So if you wait too long to get the fuel pump replaced, you're gonna end up with a very expensive bill for possibly four converters. So if you feel that lack of power, don't hesitate, get that checked. And if the fuel pressure is below 51 PSI, change the pump and you can save the life of your converters. Number four, uh, Nissan had a great idea and they thought, hey, our differential doesn't need a breathing tube, no vent here, we don't need it. Um, well, you do because pressure builds up here. So what happens is they didn't put a vent tube on the rear diff on this model. It's a first generation. Now, second generation, I'll have to do some homework to see if they did, but on the first, they did not put a vent tube. And what happens is your differential builds up pressure, just like a washing machine, because that gear ratio is going around that pumpkin, and it builds up pressure. So, it has no place to go, no vent. This is the result. You're going to get axle seals leaking constantly. You can replace them, and they might go again within 10, 15,000 miles because your rear differential is going to build up pressure which is a very normal situation. Unfortunately, the fix for this 
on the first generation is just to keep replacing the seals. Number five, it's not a big deal, but it is if you, if you like to take care of your vehicle. Uh, interior cosmetic things on these trucks seem to fail. You will find chip paint on some of your dials, on the dash it will wear out. Hand controls on the steering wheel, you have worn out paint all over. The buttons, the wording disappears on them. Handles, interior handles just break off. External handles, pull on them, they don't work. Uh, it's just a thing that happens and the accessory trunk, the little nice toolbox, well, that's another whole thing. So from underneath the truck, you can see the conditions that if you are in a zone that has winter and you have road salt, what it can do to these beautiful accessories on this particular Titan, the first generation, and I do believe they had it even after, is they like to put the exterior toolboxes on. Great idea, but if you don't wash your truck and keep the road salt off of it and the sand out, that's gonna be the end result and the toolbox becomes an empty cabin or unfortunately maybe some of your stuff that you love is still in there. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and it helps you out. Have a little fun with it. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell. That way it turns on all notifications so you don't miss one of our videos.